So on Wednesday, 1st of May, we have the 2024 World's Strongest Man. Now, it was starting to look, probably for a couple of weeks there, that we was, weren't going to have 30 athletes. Yeah, it was looking grim for, I think for a while. Probably one of the worst years for injuries yeah. for trying to get athletes that and I've ever seen a World's Strongest Man. The biggest man. problem was that these the, the strong athletes, these top 10 probably most likely athletes, were getting injured, which was, which is not nice, you know? And uh, they were probably very worried, I think, for like, five minutes <laughs> yeah considering you're after like losing Novikov yeah former world's strongest man Martins Leeds he's a former world's strongest man Mateusz Kieliskowski yeah. no never not a world's strongest man but you'd How never many know times runner up yeah two or three <laughs> something like that either way we have 30 athletes and at the moment this has been recorded on Monday all the athletes are in Myrtle Beach from the looks of it they're all doing their photo shoots yeah. all getting ready for the show on Wednesday but besides that we have 30 athletes to list and it's going to take some time so just yeah. get right into it so first off we have two-time world strongest man tom stoltman we then have rob carney representing the usa oscar zielkowski representing poland mitchell hooper current world strongest man current everything at the everything, moment yeah, pretty much. <laughs> will be representing canada we then have evan singleton again representing the usa rono heinle for estonia matthew rag for new zealand gavin bilton for the uk luke stoltman for the UK slash Scotland, mm -hmm. Ivor Schmauchstelis for Latvia, Spencer Remick from the US, Pavlo Kordiaka representing the Ukraine, Jako Schoenwinkel from South Africa, Eddie Williams, the singing strongman from Australia, we have Adam Bishop and he's representing the UK, Kane Francis representing the UK, Thomas Evans for his second year will be representing the US, Austin Andrade will be representing Mexico, we then have the return of Trey Mitchell, will be representing the US. Bobby Thompson will be representing the US. Marcus Crowder, again a new guy on the scene, representing the US again. Wesley Dewinsky will be representing Canada. Evans Nana will be representing Ghana. Some of the new guys that will be coming in for the injured athletes. So we have Tristan Hoth from Canada. He won Magnus for Magnus in the Strongman Classic back in November, I think it was. Mm -hmm. We then have Nathan Gultry, the Italian stallion, Nicholas Camby, will be representing Italy. Pao Dwyer for Ireland, Andre Futu for the Czech Republic, Kevin Fairs for the US, and finishing it off then we have Adam Rauskowski will be representing Poland. So those are the 30 athletes that will be competing to be the world's strongest man in 2024. Now we don't know the groups at the moment. They haven't Probably been there's, there will be five groups, and but they haven't announced at least uh, which in which group. We're, ex we're expecting them as of tomorrow, yeah. today's Monday, so probably middle of tomorrow we'll probably mm. find out the groups are. So on Wednesday and Thursday, we have the six qualifying events to get to the finals. Now, all the events are starting Eastern time in the US because it is in Myrtle Beach in South Carolina. So the first event we will be starting off with is the Webster Stones. That is at 9 a.m. We will then go on to the deadlift ladder at 1 p.m. And finishing off day one on Wednesday, we will have the sandbag steeplechase at 4 p.m. So qualifying day two then is on Thursday. We will start off with the Viking Press 9 a.m. We'll then go into a car walk at 1 p.m. Then we'll have the final event for qualifying, which is the stone off at 5 p.m. We all remember that case with the Brian Shaw yes. and Novikov yes. and Trey yes. Mitchell, you know. So, But it is what it is. And uh, this year is going to be fun to watch probably because there's so many guys at the kind of at the same level. So many new guys as well that we don't know. Like We know yeah. like Jaco Schoenwinkel, like, he hasn't really competed. Like We haven't seen him competing as much, but mm. we know last year he finished 10th. Like, yeah, he came, came straight out of the group. He, he, he did so great in the group. So yeah, he got injured then. And yeah, it, just, it prevented him from going any further in the competition. Like we have Thomas Evans for a second year competing. Austin Andrade is going to be his first year. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see as well. Trey Mitchell, how he how he will uh, return after all. Yeah, after the, the such a big injury, you know. So there's there, it's it's uh, the all groups will be very interesting to watch. I guess it's very hard to tell because at the yeah. moment, like Mitchell and Tom. Like I don't, I don't sound terrible, but like I think they're so far ahead of the field. I, I just, they, they just a little bit ahead. Like you know, just, 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 just that much better than everyone else. And I think it's, it's going to be enough this year for them just to fight it out in the finals. And uh, when it comes to finals, we'll talk about it later. But uh, I think these guys, they kind of guarantee top ten place. You know. So considering this world's strongest man week, we're more than likely going to have a video every day. We're going to try have a video every day. Now, unfortunately, we can't give any more information than no. what we know because no. like the groups haven't been named yet. Most We're likely they, they will do that tomorrow. Yeah, so. early probably tomorrow we'll have yeah. them. So again, we'll probably have the groups in a video for you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Now, we know the competition starts on Wednesday. 
so obviously there's so many channels out there you're going to get up to date results mm. as you're going of our, I don't think it's what worlds want. I don't think they're doing a live stream again this year. No, they don't. So no, but the, the it seems like the setup is way, way, way better than it was last year. Uh, it's more welcoming when it comes to like uh, guys who want to come in and watch the competition. Um, so it's it's gonna be interesting to see, uh, especially with the groups, because we can then we can start kind of speculating when it comes to other guys, you know, who else they're going to put, let's say, with Mitch Hooper, like uh, another strong guy, you know, it's because they have to make it uh, even. You you can't put like all the strong guys in, in one group. And then, you know, it's, it's just at this point, I think everybody knows who is who. And and so it, it, the, to me, like it, it, tomorrow will be the day when we can start kind of speculating. So unfortunately, that's probably the longest we can make this video because it's all the information we have will like we're saying multiple times in the video we'll find out more tomorrow and we'll keep you up to date basically every day we can for the world's strongest man uh like always if you made it this far in the video make sure to press the like button if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe and if you are subscribed make sure to press the bell icon it'll keep you up to date with everything the slathers brothers and we'll see you probably tomorrow for a video so stay tuned for another video see you later guys